Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to change your timing build in a Toyota 3SFE engine which is a 2 litre petrol engine, uh, dual overhead cam. Uh, this engine was commonly used in Toyota RAV4, Toyota Spacia, Toyota Tannis and I think Toyota Celica as well. So pretty much all the 2 litre engines uh, Toyota was making back in 1999-2000 period. So let's go ahead. Changing your timing belt is a very important job in any vehicle. Uh, in the case of this Toyota, uh, this timing belt says um, can't even read. Uh, the original timing belt has been replaced at 127,000 k's, but now this vehicle got 280 something thousand k's. So. Uh, the belt is supposed to be replaced at every 100,000 uh, kilometers intervals, but in some engines it's, it's um, 150,000 case intervals. But I believe this is 100,000 case. But uh, this means this engine has overdriven uh, around 50,000 case more than what it's supposed to be otherwise. So this engine is still in pretty good shape for such a high tier engine uh, today. So let's go ahead. Uh, before you get to the timing belt, you have to take this um, plastic panel off. This is the upper panel. There's another panel down here. There's one, two, uh, and there are a few bolts. It's all uh, size 10 bolts. You have to take them off and then you can uh, pry this panel off. So let's go ahead. This plastic panel is held together by these uh, balls. There's one here already taken off, and there are a few other balls, but these uh, bells get in the way. And this is the belt that drives the alternator, and this is the belt uh, that drives the fan. And also, if you can see under there, this um, rusted color one that's the power steering pump. So, for the power steering pump, as you can see. This is the um, tensioner bolt. You loosen this bolt up and you start loosening this up, they'll loosen the belt. The same story goes with the belt that drives alternator. Uh, these are the um, alternator tensioning bolt. As you loosen this up, they'll get the ten uh, tension down in the alternator. They'll loosen up the belt so you just uh, pull the belt off the pulleys so in that way you can get these two one and number two those two belts of this uh, pitman drive the crankshaft main pulley let's go ahead okay so the tension and bolt is now loose enough so they'll, that enables me to uh, slide the power steering pump towards the engine side so that loosen up the belt right here so you can just um, get it off the line and the belt is free there you go so yeah you can leave the belt like that so you don't need to take it to take the belt um, fully off yeah it'll be hanging out like that and apparently there's no cracks but I still need to change this belt as well because uh, the modern belts they don't really crack but they deteriorate so you know, let's do the same thing to this bolt. Okay, this um, tensioner bolt is loosened up. Now this thing is still loose. Now right, let's get the thing off. Oh, yeah, there you go. Get a bit of wiggling. There, it comes off. Okay, let's inspect the bolt. Yeah, this one looks much better than the other one, but it's not a branded build, so I don't know where it came from. Uh, oh, yeah, here it goes. Oh, it's a Gates build. Yeah, Gates is a good brand, so I'm gonna leave the build just now. So, so everything is now loosened up, so the only thing left is this Pitman arm pulley, the trans, the crankshaft pulley. That's, that is gonna be the hardest one to get off. I guess it could be pretty tight after, after like 15 years. Okay, let's get to it too. Okay, just to get some more working room, I had to take the uh, the engine fan fan uh, off the engine, and 
as you can see it is a size 19 socket that holds the uh, crankshaft pulley into the place uh, now that's a problem so this is one of the hardest things to do in any any uh, time build removal procedure uh, taking this uh, bolt off it's going to be really 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 tight and to make things worse this is the automatic um, transmission car so if you if this car was a uh, manual then you can put the put the car into a gear they'll lock the engine into a gear and then you can um, spin the thing and they'll loosen the bolt off by because this is automatic what it will do is keep the the crankshaft fully turning forever so if there's a little trick uh, what, else, what you need to do is uh, put the socket and get a cheetah bar like that and wedge it wedge the thing up against something really solid so, and crank the engine uh, just for a few seconds not few seconds maybe just instant instant and give it a go and they'll lo instantly loosen up the bolt and just um, pull the um, pull the key off the car so let's try if that's gonna work so this is something really 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 solid and it's not gonna come apart and I have wish I have wish the um, the end of this um, cheetah bar up against this uh, pulley uh, if you're not really sure about the pulley so you can uh, get a little extension yeah something like that and yeah put it like that and um, maybe if you can remove this battery um, you can wedge it uh, up against this metal panel but for me yeah this is pretty solid enough so I'm gonna stick to stick to that let's see how that goes Okay, success. The whole thing came apart. Just um, pull the thing off. And let's get the socket off. Actually, that's a really good trick. And uh, see the whole belt. Um, oh, yes. The hardest part in any time belt removal procedure and just um, came up in a second so the uh, next thing will be just to loosen up the the crankshaft itself that's going to be pretty tight too uh, I'm going to whack it with a hammer uh, if, not that, if that's not going to work then I might have to get a Pitman um, pulley uh, puller there are kits that you can buy at um, where the places they sell uh, spare parts they separate a little tool just to pull the crankshaft pulley off, I might have to use that. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. So all the methods I've tried so far just to get the crankshaft pulley off didn't work. It's too snug and too tough. And so the final option is to go for a uh, crankshaft pulley puller kit. So in Australia they call it. Uh, harmonic balance uh, pulley set, so it's like four euros. So give it the same name that they've been calling around the world. But anyway, now I'm gonna set up the pulley puller and let's see how that goes. So here I have set up the harmonic balancer kit. The two bolts goes into the matching up bolts. Off it comes. There you go. Oh, that's the job. And now you need to remove this plastic panel off. So it's held together by a few 10 millimeter bolts. Just like it underneath. Just uh, get those bolts off. They'll, uh, now before you taking anything apart. Uh, there's one optional step that you can do just to make sure the timing goes back is right. This little cog in the wheel should be aligned exactly with the seal. Now we have to follow a very important step before you take in the belt off. You're gonna have to take uh, put some paint marks onto the belt to make sure that you're not changing 
any of the so you can already see the the paint mark that's put by the previous person to do this job so I'm gonna use the exact same marks yeah, so I got my painting mark here just for extra safety you can put another mark just in case if there happens to be another painting mark the other side yeah so that's the mark for this and on the crankshaft pool itself here's the marking so now you can loosen up this um, tensioner pulley and they'll loosen up the tension and then we can get the belt off and put the new one back on I almost got it so this is the tensioner pulley as I told you before gonna pull that down so that'll loosen up the belt there drop the belt down yeah so here's the old time belt as you can see the the outer surface of every single cog has developed some cracks into them so this belt is really 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 bad and old I'm so glad we changed the belt it's so worn out and it's time to put the new one now here's the new belt uh, I prefer the, the Gates brand it's a good brand According to all the people on YouTube and internet says. So now you have, the, have um, two options. Either you can get a timing belt kit that comes with the belt itself, tension pulley and tension spring, idler pulley and also the water pump. But in for me though, uh, the water pump is still good and these uh, hold the tension into really well. So I'm just um, changing the belt itself, it's very easy and um, cheap. So what you have to do now is put the belt back on in exactly the same orientation as uh, the belt was before. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so it's time to put the new belt back on. I have matched up the two marks that I put in earlier. And also the two marks up here so they matches up perfectly. And here's a little trick. Before you actually install the timing belt, uh, in the case this tensioner pulley is loose, this is in the tighten up position. So what you need to do is uh, push this uh, push this tensioner pulley further down and tighten this bolt up temporarily. So they'll hold the hold the, temp, um, the the this pulley the ten, tensioner pulley in the loose position so it'll be it'll be very easy for you to uh, get the belt otherwise on on the on the wheels otherwise it will be much much harder so once you've done that what you have to do is get your socket and loosen it up Alright, see? See that? So they'll, they'll put the bolt in, put the pulley in tension again once you release that. So that means now this timing belt is in a snug position. And I start to tighten the bolt according to the correct uh, torque figures for this car. I believe it's 125. I had to recheck the, the engine repair manual for that. I think it's 125 kilograms per square meter. I second remember. So let's do that. Okay, I just uh, tighten up this bolt, tension and pulley bolt to a snug. So once you've done that, you should be able to twist the twist the belt barely into 90 degrees. So I can almost hardly turn the belt into 90, 90 degrees. That means the belt in belt um, is in right tension. So this is this is just a rule of thumb, not really an accurate figure, but this is just a way of measuring, um, get an idea of whether the belt is tight enough or not. There's one step you can do, which is um, turning the engine to full rotations, uh, just to see if everything has been done properly. So 
in this engine I can the easiest way to do is uh, this is not the recommended way to do it but I'm gonna do it anyway uh, to put the socket up here and just uh, make sure they can kind of clockwise uh, clockwise direction which is the direction engine is turning and get two full rotations so now we have installed the timing belt and uh, I just uh, I double check every single bolt that I loosed uh, from these sprocket wheels and everything so there's nothing uh, I, haven't, I haven't put these belts back on but before I put everything back on the car I want to make sure that everything is alright so I'm going to just give it a little start and see how it goes. Okay, looks like, looks like uh, you've done a good job here. Alright, everything is working and no misfiring, the time is great. Uh, just a good job, wasn't that bad, but uh, compared to what a mechanic tried to do, you might want to think that I'm doing your job next time. So the rest of the video will be the exact same opposite of what I did before, putting all the plastic panels back together, so that will be the end of this, uh, this video. So as always, uh, thanks for watching, and please uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.